preparation for Flyer has always been just kind of a mix of um, working on individual skills and then working them into bigger sequences. Um, I think my, my general strategy is always to have a way, have multiple ways to handle any sequence. I never want to walk into it, see a sequence in a course and say, I have no solution for this. My, so my goal in training is always, how can we have multiple solutions and train, you know, train the word but out of my, you know, I do this but, how can I train but out of my, out of us together as a team? Maybe I can't move as fast as I want. How can I help Flyer pick up the slack for me? And where he's an expert, I can be a slacker. So, you know, find the, find the balance. It's all about the balance. For as far as mental prep before runs goes, I think the biggest thing I do is always walk through it again physically outside the ring. So I have a ritual I use before every run, whether it's a local run or a big event like Sinusport. I always, um, before I even get my dog, I'll go and walk through it all again. I'll stand at the side of the ring, go through all my cues, verbals included, all the motions, make sure I know where every obstacle is. I'll even do it with my eyes closed to be sure I really have it locked in. Then I go get my dog, warm him up, and then even before we go in the ring again, I'll do it one more time, a couple dogs before we hit the line, because I never want to be out there saying, crud, where do we go next? I want to, I want that part out of the equation. A common challenge I see many competitors have is really just breaking the connection on course. It's so easy for us to do. I'm guilty of it, just like everyone else, where you get focused on where you need to be next on course and you lose track of your dog for a second. I think you really want to try to go for the 90 plus percent of the time. You're pretty much looking at your dog or looking at the line and that is the key thing for us to all work on is to keep that connection. Every time you change the dog's path, give them a cue, make sure you're back together again before, while you're moving, hopefully towards the next obstacle. It's all about the connection.